What is lithotripsy? Extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, ESWL, also known as lithotripsy, is a surgical procedure that uses ultrasound shock waves by which a kidney stone is broken into small particles that then can be passed out of the body. ESWL, or lithotripsy, is the most common treatment for kidney stones in the United States. Preparing for the procedure. Lithotripsy is a minimally invasive stone procedure that does not require surgical incisions. It is performed under sedation or general anesthesia just to give the patient comfort and to allow precise focusing into the stone being treated. You must avoid all food and drink after midnight the night prior to surgery, and you must arrange for transportation to and from the procedure. The recommendation is for most of our patients to show up two hours prior to their appointment and to expect to be in the recovery area for at least one to two hours after the procedure. You should avoid medications that increase your risk of bleeding for seven to 10 days prior to surgery. A complete list will be given to you by the surgeon, but they include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, aspirin, Plavix, other blood thinners like warfarin or Eliquis, and any other non-prescribed over-the-counter supplements. Many of these medications can alter platelet function or the ability for your blood to clot and may contribute to unwanted bleeding during or after the procedure. Procedure. The procedure itself is done as an outpatient and takes about 45 minutes. The patient is positioned on a table attached to the lithotripter so that the stone can be targeted precisely with x-rays. Depending on the size and the density of the stone, it can be broken into sand-like or dust-like particles that can then pass with minimal pain and discomfort. Occasionally, you will need multiple treatments with at least three weeks between each of the treatments before the stone is completely cleared. Based on the position of the stone and the presumed fragment size, the surgeon may insert a temporary plastic ureteral stent from the kidney to the bladder to help urine pass and to prevent the patient from getting post-blockage pain. The stent will be removed, and this can be done at the office without anesthesia. After the procedure is completed, the patient will stay in recovery for about an hour or two and then be discharged home. You are encouraged to drink plenty of fluids. You may be asked to strain your urine through a filter to capture the stone pieces for testing. Please take all of the prescribed medications as directed after surgery. These will include pain medications and may also include antibiotics, antispasm medications, and medications that may encourage stone fragment passage. Some studies have reported stones may come out better if certain drugs are used after lithotripsy. Additionally, if a stent has been placed, the surgeon will elect to provide medication to help with any stent-related discomfort that might occur. Results how well you do in passing the stones depends on the number of stones you have, their size, where in your urinary system they were located, and the density or hardness of the stones. Lithotripsy is very successful in fragmenting stones so that they may pass out of the body easily. As far as restrictions, do not drive or make legal decisions over the next 24 hours after your procedure. It is recommended that people take it easy, and do not participate in any strenuous, vigorous activity in the days following surgery. Normal day-to-day -day activity is fine. Some patients may be comfortable to go right back to work and feel no ill effects. Other patients may feel that they're better off taking a few days off from their normal activities. Some patients may experience blood in the urine, bladder spasms, a burning sensation during urination, pain in the back during urination or when moving, and pain in the bladder. These symptoms are generally mild and will go away over time. If they are severe, contact your surgeon's office. If you had a stent, this will be removed when no longer needed, which is usually in one to two weeks. Occasionally, stents will be left in longer, but generally needs to be changed or removed if staying in longer than three months. A patient must return for stent removal. If left in too long, the stent can form stones directly on it or cause infections, making removal difficult. Side Effects and Risks Like most procedures, there are some rare risks involved in lithotripsy, such as the risk of bleeding or contracting an infection. Signs of infection, fever over 101.5, nausea and severe pain that is not controlled by pain medication, 
would be an indication to contact us immediately. Very rare but possible serious complications may include kidney injury leading to internal bleeding, severe infection requiring hospitalization, need for blood transfusions, or injury to surrounding organs. The need for surgery to remove a kidney after lithotripsy has been reported. Other risks associated with the surgery include the risk of anesthesia itself, deep vein thrombosis, blood clots that travel to the lungs called pulmonary emboli, cardiac arrhythmias, heart attacks, or stroke. The risk of death from a surgical procedure is extremely small. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. We hope that you are better informed about your upcoming procedure. Your nurse or physician will be with you shortly to answer any further questions that you might have.